I forget what the play was. <laughs> Never mind, guys. I remember what we're doing today. What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be going over a money play again. Found in the Chicago Bears offensive playbook this is available in the live playbook this is available in their regular playbook and we're going to be going into the formation doubles flex week now we have to use the kansas city chiefs and regs if you want to get one play touchdowns over the top the only other team i can recommend is the either the vikings or the texans uh, other than that there's really no other teams that have half decent wide receivers that can do anything for you i'm, I'm sorry but that's how it is so doubles flex week is the play red or doubles flex week is the formation red zone hb corner is the play one important note it's important to be on a hash mark if you guys don't know how to read hash marks before you choose the play you guys can see these little dash da, blah, blah, dashes blah, blah. those are the hash marks that's how you know exactly where you're going to be at so start using that there's no reason you should be flipping after you choose the play because you should already know where the hash marks are that's how it is so red zone hb corner we're going to start out in a cover three sky this is going to be same for cover three match cover three sky cover three buzz cover three cloud cover three hard plot yeah name it it's going to beat it one thing that is important to note against defense if you guys are playing mutt if you're going against a zoned out player which most people have at least one zoned out player somewhere on the field this isn't going to work so with the setup on this, what we're gonna do is go ahead and max protect and streak Y. That streak is just to hold the middle third inside and pretty much make him cheat to the inside and allow this deep post to get over the top. It's also important that you guys have speed. Hardman, normally Demarcus Robinson is out there, but eight and nine speed ain't gonna cut it. The guy's a scrub, the guy's washed up and he's slower than a snail stuck in freaking molasses that is getting peppered in salt. I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's how it is. So we're going to motion snap this guy. And I'm going to talk about something right after this, but we'll look for Hardman over the top for a one play, a dot, bam, bang, for a touchdown. Now, with that motion snap, pay attention to this. If you let him go all the way, he will stop behind the slot receiver. If they're pressing, he's not going to get a clean release and he's going to kind of get clustered up behind the wide receiver and the linebacker that's going to press like Deion or like Jalen Ramsey or whoever else is really good at pressing. I don't, I don't really pay attention to the NFL much anymore, but they're just going to get a ridiculous press. So you really do need to make sure that you're motion snapping this guy. So otherwise, if you do that and just let him go all the way over, he'll set his feet behind the slot receiver. You can't let that happen. You're just going to let him motion snap. So essentially, you're going to snap the ball right before he sets his feet, right before he gets behind the slot receiver. So again, motion. You can kind of just get a feel for it. Motion snap him a little bit. That wasn't the best motion snap, but bam, bada bing, bada boom, ba bang, a dot. That time we kind of get cheated. I hate that kind of animation. But if you guys can get the motion snap down a little bit better than that, you saw earlier, we're able to beat the cover three over the top. Now, the next way we're going to beat your cover three is with the crossing route. Now, I will recommend changing who is going to be running this post route. Obviously, you probably should have your fastest wide receiver running the, the little deep post or what you guys want to call it. Uh, just because speed matters. If you guys don't believe me, play a game of Madden against Tyree Kill and then come at, tell me later that you don't think speed matters because it does. So we're going to go ahead and switch this up again. The same exact play, red zone HB corner against a cover three sky and stay to this video because next we're going to be showing you guys how to glitch out a deep half and it's close to the same but we're going to go ahead and max protect and instead of going to that little corner out on b we're going to go ahead and drag him it's just a check down that's all it is and then next thing that's going to be different is motion over me called hardman and you can let him set his feet or you can motion snap him either way is going to be just fine I will say this, and this is something I've noticed against cover three. I don't know if it's just this particular post route or whatever it may be, but this outside third will, for some reason or another, I don't know why, EA probably is why, will match this deep post. So in order to take advantage of that stupidity, we're going to go ahead and put Williams on a wheel route. One thing also to note, these curl flats now all of a sudden are going to match for again who knows what reason so that's kind of where the benefit of having this drag is going to come in handy now tire kill if madden doesn't screw us over 
should be able to beat that 90s i don't know maybe he's high 80 speed corner either way tyree kill should be able to beat him to these sidelines so now we're gonna go ahead and double team this guy and slide his direction so we can roll out even if it was a contain doesn't matter but you can see right there oh my goodness we get like the worst animation possible i hate when that happens but you can still see we get the one play touchdown anyways now in this play i want to go into instant replay real fast before we go into glitching out the deep half because it's important to understand exactly what's going on here this isn't how it should work whatsoever but this is how it's working for who knows what odd reason this outside third matches and in, in fact keep is ahead ahead let mind you ahead of tyree kill <laughs> but you can still see because we get a huge speed difference bam dot now on the other hand, on this wheel route, you notice how I was talking about earlier. This curl flat, for some stupid reason, is now turning into a quarter flat and matching vertically. I don't know why, but you see the issue with that is, is it leaves this drag wide open for an easy game, probably even a touchdown. So, with that being said, it may be different. Sometimes this outside third will match it. Other times, he won't match it. In practice mode right now, it seems like he is matching it yesterday he wasn't matching it you never know what the game's gonna give you some days the game's just gonna kick you right in the nuts and just say hey deal with it sit down other days it's gonna raise you up like i don't actually know where i'm going with this but, but anyways you guys kind of get the point some days it's just gonna screw you over and you can say right there for some reason he just like he he plays the post so perfectly with that being said you guys are like come on get to the deep path glitch let's go ahead and get into that now this is going to be very dependent on how well you can recognize what adjustments they're making on defense obviously if it's going to be a cover two it's going to be pretty easy to recognize cover three is going to be a little bit more tricky with a deep half but oftentimes if you just try to stock cover three beater two things are either doing they're playing these sticks or they're deep halfing so you kind of just got to take your shot it's a little bit more difficult to recognize that but if you play the game enough you can you can start to identify what a deep half is what a versus an outside third but to keep it simple we're going to go into a tampa two now i will say this this is a glitch if you guys don't like using glitches or i don't pretty much an exploit in the game then you probably want to stop the video here frankly we use the cheat codes because we want to win. So we're going to go in motion over Sammy Watkins and we're going to put him on a flat route. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put Sammy or Mikol Hardman. I don't know why I, said, I almost said Sammy Hardman on a streak. That's going to make sure that this deep half right here does not cheat to the inside and he stays over there. This deep half, don't care if it's a zoned out player, don't care if it's manned up, whatever abilities you may have on it, universal coverage, it doesn't matter. Even if you're baseline, doesn't matter. You're going to be able to glitch this deep half out anyways because Madden 20. Madden 20 is why. Now, let's go ahead and look for Tyree Kill over the top. I'm going to go ahead and double team this guy. I don't think that the outside linebacker on the right screen is coming through. He might. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and double team slide towards his direction. He doesn't. So, perfect. We'll get easy, easy access to bye-bying. A dot this cover to... <laughs> I <laughs> got that cover two up if we, if we don't get that trash animation So let's go ahead and audible into back into attempt two. but that's how you go ahead and glitch out the deep half We'll talk a little bit about defense after we don't get cheated two times in a row. Surely that's not never mind That's 100% possible to get cheated more than once in the game But let's go and double team this guy slide his direction So the double team actually sets and then again look for Tyree kill We'll show you guys playing the stick, shading over top, shading into the outside, because I've seen some people say on Twitter, Twitch, whatever, and YouTube, if you shade to the outside, nope, that doesn't do anything. Trust me, that does not do jack diddly squat. So again, Tampa 2. Okay, guys, I want you to see, this is hitting the Y button, all right? Y and shade to the outside. It looks backwards on your screen, but this is shaded to the outside and Y play the sticks this is lb again it looks backwards but this is play the sticks and this is shaded to the outside and you're still gonna have the same exact effect it, for whatever reason they really did a fantastic job on the game this year i i gotta give it to them great job of coding zones whatever but again you guys can see the same exact issue happens i heck even worse 
shade to the outside, play the sticks, we still glitch out the deep half. Now, the only way that you can really counter this is, first off, there's actually two ways. I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout real fast. We're going to go into attempt two. The first and probably easiest way is just to man him up. That's going to be the only way that you can really guarantee that this gets stopped unless you want to take your user out of position. So again, double flex, <clears throat> red zone HB corner, set this up like we have been in the past. So B on a flat route, Y on a streak. And then from here, what I'm going to do is just baseline. It just looks a little bit neater or nicer, I guess you could say, in the play that we're going to be using. So let's just say we want to go ahead and try and stop this play. So we know that it's going to be the X receiver that's going to be running this post route. I'm still going to assume that, yeah, Patrick Chung's probably going to get burned over the top by Tyreek Hill. But let's go ahead and just shade over the top. This is going to be the best way to stop this play. Please keep in mind that this is a safety, probably an 80 speed safety going against a 99 speed wide receiver. So obviously it's going to be a little bit different. So you probably want to go ahead and sub in a corner right there if you're going to do this particular adjustment. But this will be the best way to stop this glitch altogether. So let's go ahead and snap this ball. It's going to work just fine. But because it's, just, it's a big speed differential and that's why the Chiefs are probably the best passing you can still get it off. So. If you're to sub in a corner, like if you guys play Mutt, Deion Sanders, for example, 99 speed, 99 man, 99 who knows what else, he's going to be able to play that post route very, very well, if not perfectly. So that's going to be one way that you can take it. And the other way and the most obvious way is to user it. Clearly, if you don't user this or you don't man it up, it's going to be to cover two over the top every single time. So... We're going to try my best right here. I'm going to have to take control of two teams all at once. But we'll snap the ball. And we know that this glitch is coming. If they, if you've seen it once, you've seen it before. And you can see, again, another way to take it away. Most often times, they're going to go ahead and scramble out. But if you're able to take away with those two adjustments, either manning them up or taking it away with your user, that's going to be the way that you're going to stop these kind of plays altogether. There's more than one type of way to glitch out a deep half. I got lots of different videos of how you can go glitch out these deep halves. So be aware that there's more formations than just this that you can pull this little trickery off of to bomb a cover two. So if you notice that that's happening, again, man up a corner, user it, whatever you got to do with whatever two ways or send the bazooka defense, the dogs at them. Those three ways are going to be the most effective way to stop it all together. So that's going to take care of this video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. We're closing in on 1K closer and closer, faster and faster every single day. And yeah, get in the lab. This has been T-Meister. See ya.